Ever thought about a world where capturing memories wasn't just a smartphone click away? A time when photos weren't just snapshots, but rare treasures? Let's dial it back and plunge into an era where every photograph told a tale more precious than gold. Buckle up folks. We're diving deep into history to unveil mysterious photos that even the brightest minds can't decipher. Ready to have your world rocked by the unexplained? Let's get started. Number 1. First photograph of a pedestrian. Imagine journeying back to 1838 Paris. The city bustling with life, carriages riding down the boulevards, and Parisians going about their day. Among all the flurry, French photographer Louis Deere aimed his camera at the Boulevard D Temple. For years, this photo lay amidst other historical relics. However, a recent surge in its popularity has the internet buzzing, all thanks to a sharp-eyed blogger, Gig Terman. Gig's eagle eyes spotted what seemed to be two shadowy figures in the photo's lower left corner, almost blending with the surroundings. Now, this curious discovery piqued the interest of researchers at the University of Rochester. Delving deeper and using advanced enlargements of the original daguerreotype, they made a stunning confirmation. Those weren't just smudges or anomalies, but actual people. So, who were these mysterious figures from the past? As it happens, Louis Deere had unwittingly immortalized a moment between a pedestrian and a shoeshiner. But here's where it gets intriguing. The boulevard, known for its hustle and bustle, seemed eerily deserted in the photograph except for these two figures. Why? Gig Terman, the same blogger who discovered the figures, provided an explanation rooted in photographic techniques of the era. The photography back then required a significantly prolonged exposure time. While the rest of the Parisians zipped by in their daily frenzy, these two individuals remained stationary long enough, making them the unintended stars of the shot. The fleeting nature of the others rendered them invisible, giving us a snapshot not just of two people, but also a glimpse into the technological limitations of yesteryears. How fascinating is that? Can you imagine what else might be lurking unnoticed in other historic photos? Number 2. Halloween in 1930s. Imagine, for a moment, a time when the Night of All Saints Eve wasn't about dressing up as your favorite superhero or the latest pop culture icon. Instead, it was a solemn and sometimes eerie commemoration of the departed souls. Originating in the 16th century, this tradition had people truly believing that the spirits of the departed could wander the earth for just that one night. To blend in or possibly appease these spirits, individuals donned ghastly masks and went from door to door, hoping for some sweet treats. But as the sands of time shifted, so did the essence of these costumes. The chilling disguises of yore gave way to more contemporary, and often less scary, pop culture representations. However, if you ever had a chance to leaf through an old photo album, you'd witness the stark transformation. A specific photograph from the 1930s, for instance, showcases revelers with oversized masks, depicting wicked beings, menacing animals, and even a sinister version of Mickey Mouse. The grayscale of the image, rather than muting its intensity, amplifies the haunting aura. Could you imagine crossing paths with someone wearing such a mask on a dimly lit street? The sheer thought sends shivers down the spine, doesn't it? And while today's Halloween costumes might be more about fun than fright, one can't help but appreciate the genuine eeriness of the past. Makes you wonder, would you dare to revive such a tradition? Number 3. Long-haired women. Have you ever come across an old photograph that gave you the chills? Picture this, an early 20th century snapshot capturing two women. Their intense, almost piercing gazes, combined with incredibly long, free-flowing hair and ethereal dresses, exude an uncanny vibe. Can't help but draw parallels with the spine-tingling Japanese horror film, The Ring, right? The antagonist, Sadako Yamamura, with her long tresses and loose attire, shares an eerie resemblance to these women. But why this deep fascination and reverence for long hair? Nowadays, encountering such cascades of hair is a rarity. But back then, the narrative was different. Throughout history, luxuriant hair symbolized allure and femininity. But it wasn't just about beauty. Many believed that hair was a reservoir of strength and vital energy. Think Samson from biblical lore, whose power was bound to his locks. Hair also bore significant cultural weight. For instance, married women styled their hair meticulously before stepping out, signaling their marital status, while free-spirited young girls were often seen with unbound hair, symbolizing innocence. The striking women in this old photograph clearly had glorious, well-maintained tresses, a testament to the pride they took in their crowning glory. Had their expressions been a tad bit cheerful or perhaps even just neutral, the image might have taken on a different aura, but their stern faces, juxtaposed with the flowing hair, created a hauntingly beautiful snapshot, frozen in time. It leaves us pondering, what stories did their gazes hold? What tales did those tresses tell? Would our perception change if their lips curled up in a slight smile? The world of yesteryears indeed had its own unique charm and mystery, don't you think? Number 4. Post-mortem photography. Can you imagine a time when photographing the deceased was not only accepted but a celebrated practice? Now, fasten your seatbelts as we journey back to the Victorian era, 
possibly the most shadowy chapter in photographic history. The 19th century European society witnessed an intriguing, if not macabre, trend, post mortem photography. To our modern sensibilities, it might seem unnerving, almost macabre. Yet, back in the day, it was a poignant way to cherish the memories of lost loved ones. The origins of this dark art trace back to 1840 with a self portrait as a drowned man by French photographer Hippolyte Bayard. A twist? He wasn't dead but merely posed, pioneering an idea that would captivate the masses. As the century rolled on, post mortem snaps gained momentum. Each photograph was rich in detail, emotion, and tradition. Adults, dressed in their best, were often captured seated, their surroundings adorned with flowers, and even a touch of blush graced their pallid cheeks, lending them an eerie semblance of life. The heartstrings tug even more when it comes to the departed children. Positioned similarly to adults or surrounded by toys, these young souls often had family members alongside them, immortalizing a moment of love and loss. Innovation didn't bypass even this niche. Special apparatuses were crafted allowing the lifeless subjects to stand, and to an unsuspecting eye, these subjects might appear very much alive. It's worth noting that in a time where photography was an expensive endeavor, these final portraits became a treasured keepsake. They symbolized both an end and an everlasting memory, a final farewell that could be revisited. So, as peculiar as it might sound to us today, post-mortem photography was, for the Victorians, a poignant blend of grief, art, and remembrance. How do you think future generations will perceive our current traditions? Number 5. Deceiving Photograph Have you ever looked at a photograph and made an instant judgment about the subjects in it? Here's a thought experiment. Picture a group of young men and women, laughing heartily, eyes twinkling with mirth. They seem like the kind of folks you'd want at your next barbecue. But what if I told you these same radiant faces were once guardians of the gates to hell? These individuals worked at concentration camps during the Holocaust. It's a jarring juxtaposition, the light-hearted image with such a somber past. Now, it's easy to see an old photograph and pass quick judgment, but let's remember, Nazi Germany excelled in the dark art of manipulation. Their propaganda machine was vast and powerful, almost like a cult brainwashing its members. The frightening ideals they promoted led to unspeakable horrors. Yet, no amount of brainwashing can fully excuse the participation in the systematic extermination of innocent lives. While the regime propagated its twisted views, personal accountability can't be overlooked. It's a chilling reminder that even in the face of overwhelming societal pressure, individuals must uphold their moral compass. It's a complex interplay of societal influence and personal choice, isn't it? How far can societal brainwashing go before personal responsibility kicks in? Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Imagine navigating through a mist-laden forest, where towering entities known as the Guardians of Time stand sentinel, their woven forms echoing tales as old as time. Here's Alara, a brave soul venturing into their territory, seeking enlightenment. As she steps forward, the ground beneath her feet seems to communicate through arcane symbols. These guardians? They're not mere statues. They challenge Alara with enigmatic riddles. Riddles that the very trees might have whispered in hushed tones over eons. And Alara? She's no ordinary traveler. With each riddle she unravels, a guardian fades into oblivion, bequeathing a segment of an age-old map. It's as if the forest is entrusting her with its deepest secrets, piece by piece. However, nature has its quirks. Just when Alara believed she was on the brink of unlocking the age-old enigma, the map plays its final trick. It disintegrates, leaving behind mere imprints on the ground. It's a gentle nudge from the universe, a reminder that some enigmas are more tantalizing when left unsolved. Now, wouldn't you wonder what other secrets this forest holds? Number 6. Hidden Mother. Imagine this. You're trying to get that perfect shot of your kid for the family album. Nowadays, it's a snap. Literally. With photography at our fingertips, capturing kids in whimsical outfits, pulling adorable faces, or even mid-tantrum is easier than ever. Modern photography, with its instant capture and countless editing options, has made children's photo shoots a breeze. But cast your mind back to the late 19th century, a time when the term, quick pick, wasn't just absent from the lexicon, it was scientifically unfeasible. That's right, no flashing lights, no rapid shutter speeds. In those days, capturing an image wasn't the work of a fleeting second, but a lengthy 10 to 30 seconds of staying statue still. Achieving that with an adult? Challenging. But with a wriggly baby? Near impossible. Enter the hidden mother. Picture this. A serene looking baby on camera, but just out of the frame, or perhaps disguised beneath a draped fabric, there's a mother, holding her child steady. This might sound like the Victorian era's quirky workaround, but it was actually a popular subgenre of photography back in the day. While it was crucial for the baby to remain the star of the show, keeping them still during the drawn-out exposure time necessitated the unseen support of the mother. Hence, shrouded in various fabrics, these mothers were the unseen pillars, literally supporting their babies to get that perfect shot. 
It's a peculiar slice of history, isn't it? Today, while we effortlessly snap away, these hidden mothers remind us of a time when a simple baby portrait was a meticulous craft, demanding patience, innovation, and a lot of maternal muscle. Number 7. Dangerous Beauty Ever stumbled upon a family photograph that seemed a tad peculiar? That's precisely what happened to a young woman while perusing through her family's heirloom albums on social media. Unfolding before her was a captivating image of her youthful grandmother. But this wasn't just any poised, vintage photo. There she was, elegantly seated, a firearm gripped in one hand. And if that wasn't intriguing enough, the other hand revealed smudges of a powdery white substance, evoking images of talcum powder. Curiosity peaked, wouldn't yours be? The granddaughter couldn't resist probing further. The revelation? Beneath that graceful exterior of her grandmother was a fiery spirit with a penchant for wrestling. Yes, you heard that right. Behind that delicate visage was a woman who could take on opponents in the ring, grappling and pinning them down with finesse. Who would have guessed that this dainty dame had a secret life where she went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a sport of sheer strength and skill? It's a delightful reminder that appearances can be deceiving, and sometimes, family albums hold more than just memories. They unravel secrets. Wondering what other family tales lie hidden? Number 8. Felling of a Sequoia Imagine, for a moment, stumbling across a collection of vintage photographs where, instead of the burly, rugged lumberjacks you'd expect, you see what seem to be dwarves. But take a closer look. Those aren't dwarves, they're ordinary folks. The real giants in these photographs? The mammoth sequoia trees towered behind them. These titanic timbers were so immense that they made everything around them seem miniature in comparison. Flashback to the mid-19th century. As explorers ventured through California, not solely lured by the promise of gold anymore, many transitioned from gold digging to another lucrative profession, lumberjacking. Back in the 1850s, California was blanketed by over 8,000 square kilometers of lush sequoia forest. But greed and progress started chipping away at this natural marvel, and by the mid-20th century, a vast majority of these colossal trees had been axed, leaving a mere 500 still standing in California. To offer some perspective on the sheer scale of these botanical behemoths, consider this. The sequoia named Hyperion looms at an awe-inspiring height of over 115 meters. And speaking of sheer size, there's the voluminous Del Norte Titan with a whopping diameter of 7.22 meters. The good news? Today, there's a beacon of hope for these giants. The Sequoia National Park, nestled in the Sierra Nevada's western slopes, stands as a testament to our efforts to shield and celebrate this incredible species. Number 9. Most Beautiful Eyes Contest Ever stumble across an old photograph and think, what in the world is happening here? Well, one particular snapshot from the 1930s might genuinely give you pause. Picture this, a lineup of women, each donning a mask that eerily reminds you of the one worn by Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs. Before your imagination runs too wild, let me shed some light on this peculiar scene. This wasn't some avant-garde masquerade ball or a horror-themed gathering. No, these ladies were competing in, wait for it, the most beautiful eyes contest held in sunny california in 1930 the objective simple yet odd find the woman with the most captivating eyes and to ensure impartiality their faces save for their eyes were concealed with these well let's call them unique masks but why such a bizarre design choice why not something less terrifying one can only guess but it's both comical and slightly unsettling to think of these participants vying for a beauty accolade while looking like they're auditioning for a thriller Fast forward a few years, and thankfully, someone had the sense to switch out the creepy masks for scarves, which were draped just below the eyes. The quest for the most alluring eyes continued, but with a touch less horror. Number 10. Photograph with Albert Einstein. Imagine stumbling upon a vintage photograph, dusty with age, featuring none other than the iconic wild-haired genius, Albert Einstein. That's precisely what happened to a young woman who shared a captivating image on Reddit. This wasn't just another ordinary snap from the 1940s. It displayed her own grandfather standing shoulder to shoulder with Einstein in the heart of New York, just a year after Einstein became an American citizen. Netizens were quick to spot the uncanny resemblance between her grandfather and the eminent physicist, sparking a flurry of comments. But the real marvel was the privilege her grandfather had, sharing a frame with such an illustrious figure. I mean, it's Albert Einstein we're talking about. During Einstein's time, the world was in the throes of a technological revolution, with scientists unveiling breakthroughs left and right. Yet, Einstein stood out, changing the very way we perceive our universe. He gifted us the groundbreaking theory of relativity, educated us on the equivalence of mass and energy, and demystified the laws of the photoelectric effect, among many other contributions. Calling Einstein a genius feels like an understatement. His mind was an incessant factory of ideas and innovations, with over 300 scientific papers to his name. He wasn't just restricted to the realm of physics either. Philosophy, journalism, he dipped his toes everywhere. 
from holding honorary doctorates from prestigious universities globally to clinching the Nobel Prize in 1922, his accolades are endless. So, when you think of it, that photograph isn't just a memento. It's a fragment of history. It's a testament to a chance encounter between an ordinary man and an extraordinary mind.